Hello and welcome to Family Outings TV here from Manchester, Christmas markets. Uh, first thing you might notice if you have been to the Christmas markets um, before, behind me, um, the uh, Santa Claus is missing. Let's have a flick. Usually there's a big illuminated Santa Claus just on the town hall, but I know that is getting refurbished, so maybe that's the reason why, okay? Um, so yeah, today we're gonna have a look around uh, Christmas markets. Manchester is my favorite uh, of the trips that we do from our coach trips from Teesside. Um, there's plenty to do here. There's probably, you know, about five or six different Christmas markets. Um, have a look in the comments below and I'll put the link on there from the uh, the local council and it gives you a guide of all the markets here. This is the one in Albert Square. Um, plenty of markets, lots of food stalls, um, bars. We're going to have a look around, see what's new for this year. I have noticed the layout's a lot different from the last two years as well, so um, that's good. And this, this area here, uh, where I'm actually stood, it's uh, usually not pedestrianised, but it has been um, pedestrianised uh, for this year to add some extra stalls. So again, I'll give you a little flip around, have a look. This area here, this road area, um, it's usually uh, got traffic going down here, but this year it is pedestrianised. Um, so I think that's just to add extra stalls and make it a little bit of a bigger event for uh, 2019. Here we have uh, one of the bar areas, one of the many bar areas in uh, Manchester for the Christmas markets. Um, and we'll go take a look now and have a look at a few of the different stalls and the food that's available. So that's a uh, flavoured whiskey or flavoured moonshine they're saying. Um, seems to be a popular stall, so must be good. £25 a jar, not too bad for a Christmas market. Um, just having a wander around now. Just loads of stalls. Let's have a look at this. Cool lamp stall. Traditional wooden games. Have a look along here as well. Hey, I just saw some footage there of the um, the craft stalls. Um, now we're gonna have a look at the food stalls. The problem with this place is I've only got one belly, and uh, there's about 25 different things that I want to eat. Um, we'll go have a look, see what's kicking about. I'm pretty much swayed towards a bratwurst because that's what I always have. But um, there's just so much, uh, so much food. Like the smell is amazing. Um, it's a lot of things that are different um, that you can't just get back in Teesside. So we'll have a look, make a decision, and you can have a look at what's available here food-wise, okay? So this is uh, chicken trays. Fried chicken, chicken trays with uh, different sauces on. We've got uh, Dr Pepper barbecue, bees knees, blue cheese, um, buffalo ranch. This looks lovely, actually. Uh, we'll have a wander around. <coughs> Pretzels. 
They look nice. Nice. Let's have a look. And this is the one. This is the one I'm always drawn to every year. I just can't help myself. Don't know. It's it's not fired up as much as usual, but uh, have a look at that. That smells lovely as well. If only you could have a uh, smell of vision. Oh, and then they've got different types as well. So let's have a look at the menu. Uh, spicy. Um, Cheese. Let's have a look. I think there's about four different sausages, but there doesn't seem to be any sort of, uh, of menu that says particularly what the type. Um, a super bratwurst, pork steak, spicy. Smells lovely though. And then just a few more yards away. Waffles and pancakes. If you have a look in here, you can see that there. There you go, waffles, pancakes. Looking about <coughs> between 3.50 and 4.50 for a waffle or a pancake. Let's go take a look at them making them fall fresh. God, smells amazing. Next, we have grilled cheese. There you go, just the... Uh, uh, around about 6.55 to 7.50 See them getting cooked to you well, Hey, you know what, let's, let's, uh, let's go about, sorry, let's go about two yards across We've got some curry verse here Smelling lovely. It's just ridiculous the amount of food. Here we are. Let's have a look. There you go. German bratwurst, five pound. Smoked sausage, five pound. There you go. Let's see what's around here. Around the corner. Oh, guess what? More food. Strudel. Oh wow. God, see, see what I mean about having one belly, it's just unbelievable, what am I meant to do, I can't eat all this, can't afford all this for a starter, but never mind eat it all. Here he is, Mr. Chef, Chef Art, okay, let's have a look at this one here, ah, uh, what, wrap up, sorry, got halloumi here. Chicken and halloumi, Pedro's chicken burrito. Wow, again, looking between five and seven pound for food items here, which it's not too bad because it is unique, um, and you would expect to be paying that in these sorts of places. But they, but they do, but you can see they're all made fresh, which is always good. It means uh, you don't mind paying the price as much when you know it's all fresh. Um, I think that's it from the hot food. I know that there is some more places, um, but if you just if you just saw that, how close everything was together, all that food, um, it's just ridiculous. But it's amazing, it smells amazing, um, and now we'll just uh, just keep having a nosy around. True story. I woke up this morning and I thought, you know what I want today? A wooden tie. I thought nobody would be so stupid to make wooden ties. But you know what? I found a wooden tie. Actually, I found quite a few. Thing of the future, apparently. So, uh, I caved in. Yep. Get in my belly. Get in my belly now. <clears throat> so I've got me uh, breakfast. In fact, it's nearly gone. You just got to have a breakfast when you're at Christmas, don't you? Cheers. 
I mean, it was five pounds. It was big, tasty. It's all you need at Christmas, isn't it? Oh, I can hear some more Christmas songs again now. A bit of Leona Lewis. So that's the first time they recognised me. Bratwurst has gone, but that was uh, some happy customers from previous trips, and they were coming with us on the overnight trip in Edinburgh on the 12th of December. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian, look away now. Get in my belly. Yes. Oh my word. I want some pork scratchings. Or belly pork. Too much to eat. Too much to eat. Look, what's this now? Let's have a look. Cheesy potatoes. Ah, what? Cumberland sausage. Garlic mushrooms. Black peas aren't floating me boat. I'll, I'll skip them ones. Traditional black peas. But look at this cheesy potatoey goodness. Do you reckon he'll notice if I just help myself to a spoonful? Oh, yes. Hi mate. <laughs> I don't think there's mushroom in there. No, no, more food. Amsterdam fries. Oh, what? This is ridiculous. Just let me eat everything. They should do like a, a food pass here where you can just literally eat all you want. I'd pay £100 for it. Unbelievable, Jeff. Let's have a look at the sauces up there. <coughs> Don't know what the sauces are. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a look another time. Right, so we're now going to head to uh, Manchester Ice Village. Don't really know what's there to be honest. I know there's an ice ring. Um, not sure what's there beyond uh, beyond the ice ring. So we'll go take a look, see what's there, and have a little explore. So hello from the ice village. Uh, we just got here. Uh, first thing that stands out is obviously the ice ring. Uh, I'm gonna do a little flick. I'm getting dripped on here. Uh, <clears throat> it's an ice ring nice ice ring bring your kids uh, I think it was like uh, 12 pounds for a ice skate which I thought was quite a lot I'll go out and have a double check it was quite a long queue but um, yeah it's an ice ring similar to the ones we've seen at uh, Stock Elf Park and Sunderland Illuminations just a seasonal um, activity isn't it not gonna dwell on it there you go ice skating enjoy lovely so we'll go have a look at the price, see how much that was. Uh, when I've said that back, £12 for an ice skate seems a bit pricey, I'm probably wrong. Don't tell the missus I said that though, because uh, generally I never say I'm wrong, so it took a lot to say that. Let's have a look. <coughs> um, what it is, let's have a look here. It's £13.50 for an adult. 10.50 a child or £40 for a uh, family, that's bonkers, and then you've got, uh, no, I think that all includes skate hire, but uh, yeah that's crazy. If you've got a bank loan, or if you're pretty wealthy, get yourself on there, you'll enjoy it. Uh, I think that's a bit pricey to be honest, it's nothing uh, nothing more than uh, you can get in Teesside, you know, it's just, just a nice ring isn't it? But uh, <clears throat> I'm guessing it must cost a lot to rent and everything, so yeah. We'll have a look, see if there's anything else here, because I thought it was called an ice village, so I don't know if there's anything more icy here. We will go take a look. Got the blue half of Manchester here. Don't know if there's any red half. There's your Man City stall. Arts and crafts. More arts and crafts. Some things to make your head look fluffy. 
think they keep you warm as well. Um, this is the entrance to the ice skating, just there. And yeah, just uh, looks like that is the ice uh, village and ice ring, which is fair enough. But uh, thought I was thinking like um, an ice bar or something. But this is nice, nice little drinking area. Smells lovely. I can smell smoked sausages somewhere. I'm going to hunt them out. We've got a, a bar here with the uh, your mulled wine, hot chocolate, um, sugar waffles over here. There's a bit, a bit more uh, of our atmosphere here. I'll try and speak a bit louder. Oh yeah, look at this. These look like better waffles. They must be snazzy. They've got digital LED backgrounds. They must mean business. Right. Let's have a look. Are the eyes, the sausages? You cannot beat a bit of sausage at a Christmas market. I know I keep going on about it, but let's have a look at these ones. Oh, wounded. Wounded. You know when you get something and then you see something else that you wish you'd got? Pork and black pudding. I love black pudding. Right. This is wraps. Got wraps here. Um, as I say, this is uh, part of the ice village. Um, it's up uh, <coughs> up towards the top near the Arndale shopping centre. So um, if you're going from um, Albert Square, which is the, the main one that you'll probably see the most uh, advertised, uh, it's about a five, ten minute walk from there. But yeah, there's a better atmosphere here. Yeah? It's not Christmassy at the moment, but um, it's good atmosphere. You can hear the music there in the background. And yeah, you can, uh, this seems to be the place where people come for a little tipple. So it appears I'm going to have to say I was wrong again because there is an ice cavern and an ice tiki bar. Hello and welcome to the Factually Incorrect Family Outings TV vlog. Let's go see what those are. Right, so let's have a look. Ice cavern, ice tiki bar. Ticket holders only. Let me see what this is. Right, I'm going to go find out what these are. Probably not going to go in, but at least I can uh, try and give you some uh, good information there eh, on this vlog. Might be nice, probably what you're watching for. Let's go, uh, let's go see here. Right, what is the ice tiki bar? See, right behind me. Right, escape to a tropical hideaway for the ultimate festive treat in Manchester's new ice tiki bar. Exotic cocktail in an ice glass. It's an ice bar. Perfect ice. Tiki bar, and then let's have a look. What is the ice cavern? Ice cavern is a family attraction. 200 tons of ice, uh, ice dragon, ice palace. Okay, so the ice cavern is a family-friendly ice bar, and the ice tiki bar is an adults, um, an adult ice bar. Okay, so prices. Ice bar, ten pound to eight, eight pound to ten pound, and the ice cavern is eight pound to ten pound. Need some videos of it. Looks quite cool, actually. That's probably, if you think that's better value than uh, than the ice skating, I'd probably rather go in there than the ice skating. But um, I'm not going to go in there today, I don't think, because uh, I'm cheap. Rather go, oh, rather go with my family or uh, with someone than just going by myself. Right, I'm going to go off track a little bit now because uh, I've just walked past the Printworks. Uh, Printworks is like a big hospitality yeah. complex, so bars, food, I think there's like a cinema in there. So we're just going to have a little look in there. If you come into Manchester, you might as well have a little uh, nosy about. I think I've been in there a while ago. 
uh, probably looking about 15, 20 years ago, and I thought it was uh, pretty impressive. So interesting to see what it's like now. We'll just have a quick little glimpse, we won't stay in there for long, just see what's in there. You might want to pop along for your lunch or something if you do come on one of our coach trips. Um, and then you can uh, make your own mind up. Okay, so we're just going to go in now. Massive billboard out front. Let's have a look up there. Beauty Pie, join the club. Right. So let's have a look. I'll move that back. See what's in here, eh? Da, da, da. Oh, we got a hard rock cafe. Always a big draw. Oh yeah, I think I might go in there later for a burger. Let's have a look. Iconic uh, logo there. Boom. Oh, what? Yes. A little bit of hard rock. Chiquito. Uh, we are still in the festive spirit because there's a Christmas tree, so that means that this is okay on the vlog, right? Comment below, what do you think? Wow, it's impressive this. Again, we're based in Teesside, we're a Teesside coach company. We run trips from Teesside, Stockton, Middlesbrough, Hartlepool, Billingham. Uh, we certainly don't have anything like this in, uh, in Teesside. Pretty massive, impressive. Big I Love Manchester B. To the um, <coughs> the arena incident there not so long ago got a Yates bar here view cinema um, escape reality not sure what that is looks like I think it's an actual escape rooms um, oh a beer keller there you got everything in here O'Neill's View Cinema, Frankie and Benny's, Nando's. Oh man, I'm hungry again. Ah, just want to eat everything. And I wish I had a bank account to allow it. I've got the belly to allow it, actually. It's getting there anyway. Double XL. Not that you need to know that, but. Uh, walkabout. I know weather spoons. Cheap and cheerful weather spoons. So that's a little walk through the print works, but uh, yeah, some nice places. Hard Rock, definitely a highlight. If you fancy one of them, uh, get yourself in there. So here we are outside one of the entrances of the uh, Ma Manchester Arndale Shopping Centre, directly opposite. Seems like another mini market. Let's go see what uh, what's in here. You will see a lot of repetition in these stalls. Um, I think <coughs> a lot of them are owned by the same people and they just uh, place them around the different markets. We've, we've, we've definitely seen those three stalls at the uh, the site over in the uh, Albert Square. But we'll take a look, see what's, uh, if there's anything new here. More beer and mulled wine. Oh god. Here we go. A big brat burst. Let's have a look at this one. Here we go. Let's have a look at there. Pretty impressive. Oh, I've got a pizza. Pizza place. Wow. Let's, let's get a good angle at this, but yeah, I've not seen a pizza uh, stall yet. Nice. Oh, look at this as well. Yorkshire pudding wrap. Porky pig. Named after me. Porkiest pig of all. Let's go have a look, see what this is all about. Oh man, this is unfair. Let's go look at a poggy pig wrap. Come on, see if you can spot the poggy pig wrap. Who's got a poggy pig wrap? Yeah. 
Shouting numbers. Comment below. Time of anyone give me a funny view, funny look. There was one, there's one there, definitely had one there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Sorry. <laughs> yes. They look immense. Let's have a look at the the menu. See if I can find any details on these. Cause uh, oh, they famous Yorkshire pudding. Six fifty. That's from six to six fifty, basically. Six to seven, six to seven fifty. Uh, loads of different fillings in the Yorkshire pudding. Guess what? More food right next to the Porky Pig Yorkshire puddings. What's this? What's this? Oh, this looks nice. Look at this. Oh yeah. Yes, look at them. Cooked on. Balls, looking good. This man thinks I'm weird. It's okay though, because I am. <laughs> so this looks nice behind us, doesn't it? Shambles Square, Manchester. How nice does that look? It looks like it belongs in uh, York or Lincoln or something. But no, Manchester, Shambles Square. <coughs> totally off point from the Christmas thing, but look, there's some uh, there's some more Christmas stalls. And uh, just behind me, guess what? There's some more Christmas stalls. New uh, Cathedral Street. To be fair, this year seems to be the biggest Christmas market ever in Manchester. Everywhere you go, there's a Christmas market. It's unbelievable, Jeff. Let's have a walk down here, see what's happening. Craft Lager, Prosecco, Martini straight ahead. Comment below with the time if you get a funny look. We're on the funny look lookout. Oh, this looks uh, spacious in there, doesn't it? Yeah, very spacious. There we are, something different, some shoes. Proper shoes, apparently, as says so on there. Right, let's go around here. What have we got? Ooh, Java extra milk hot chocolate. What's this here? Some jams. <coughs> Look at this hot chocolate. Mm, nice. Beeswax and honey, candles, interesting, oh yes, let's have a look, food, food stop, food, a little food, uh, french fries, angel fries, parmesan truffle oil, oh pastrami burger, that sounds nice, let's have a look. See anything? See anything? Nah, can't see them cooking. Right, let's move on. He's a nutcracker. Here he is. Hi, mate. I'm sure I saw you at Stockell Park. Check out the vlog. Funny look, alert, there we go. Oh, what's this? Christmas ornaments, pretty cool. And a smell of uh, incense. Ding, 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 we've got one. Funny look, alert. 
Yeah, that place stinks. I hate the smell of incense. Some cheese. Cheese, get your cheese. Get your cheese here. I think I'm losing it. There's some uh, drinks lit up. I've heard they taste nicer if you light them up with fairy lights. This guy has gone for it with the fairy lights in a bottle. Lady, oops. Um, more ornaments. Another bar. Do, 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 do. So this is Christmas. What have we done? Oh, look at this. Oh, I hear Christmas music. Yeah. Well, it's not really Christmas music, but it makes you think of Christmas. Oh, he looks a bit. Uh, this guy's animated. Oh, yes. This guy. We've got to get this guy on video. He's. He's, he is definitely. Go on, son. Go on. Yes. I don't even think he's had a drink. But he's all over it. Yes. This guy's bonkers. Someone sneaking round the corner. Tell me, could that someone be Mac the knife? Looks like my uncle. Hi, hey. hey, Uncle Ronnie. <laughs> right, so we're at Exchange Square now. Uh, sorry, Exchange Street. Uh, and look ahead. Probably can't see there because of the sun. But yeah, another row of uh, Christmas markets. I'm going to go around the back. I can hear something in the uh, in the distance. Some sort of show, I think. Let's have a look. Yes, definitely hear something. Don't know if you're picking it up on your mic. Where is it? I'm gonna come and hunt you down. Yes, here it is. Right, so this is a warning. If you don't want to watch some really cool fishermen's, miners, folky type music, I would skip ahead five minutes now.
Class, weren't they? Uh, I don't know what type of music you would possibly uh, class that as, but um, folk uh, came to my mind, but um, seemed a bit more modern. But um, yeah, they were classed. Uh, they're called, I'll try and put a link below, but they're called the Land Lovers or the Halifax Land Lovers. You can find them on Facebook um, if you wanted to uh, find some of their music. So, yep, yeah, Halifax Land Lovers, big thumbs up. Let's keep going. Right, so. Guess what? Found some more food, more bratwurst. I think I'm done with uh, showing you bratwurst. Oh my, no I'm not. No my god. Look at this one. Just as I was about to say that. Half a metre long bratwurst. Get in there, get in my belly. Six pound. For an extra pound I could have had like an extra five inches or something. See, this is what I mean. I should have shopped around before I got my my breakfast but the good news is I've still got one meal left in me today so I just don't know where I'm gonna go for it it's tricky 
anyway, moving on. Uh, more markets. Uh, I'm not sure where we are now. I've lost track. That music threw me off. I look, deep dish cookies. Let's have a look at this. Oh, what? Oh, waffles. Yes. Cinnamon caramel Belgian waffles. Deep dish cookies. Oh, these do look immense. Not seen these yet either. About £3 each. Oh, I might have to get one of these. Yes, you can help me, mate, in a second. Let me just take my pick. Beautiful. Alright, so here we are at the uh, King Street. And, uh, yeah, yet another uh, Christmas market, funnily enough. I've never seen so many in such a short space. Uh, small amount of space. <clears throat> to be honest, there is quite a lot of variety. Not everything is the same, but there is also quite a lot of duplication as well. Oh, this is an impressive building behind here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll have a little look up there. Pretty cool. See what that is. Oh, wow. Boodles. Boodles, boodles. Definitely haunted, I reckon. Comment below. Definitely haunted building. But nice nonetheless. Alright, we'll keep walking down here. This is the best sausage best, apparently. Not the best sausage, but the best sausage best. Look, it says so hid here. It's like Elf in it. It says, uh, best cup of coffee in the world. This is the best sausage best. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let's see. They do look nice, like. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, there. Gin bar. If you're looking for the gin bar, this is the place to be. Um, let's have a look in here. Oh, this looks nice. I like a nice little bit of gin. All the craze nowadays, like rhubarb gin. It's nice, that like. Let's have a look at this. Grapefruit gin. Interesting, interesting stuff. As you can see, it's very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so you can get all your mulled wine, wines in a mug, it's like a Manchester mulled wine mug, it's quite festive. You have to pay a £3 deposit for those mulled wine mugs, or you can just keep the mug for £3, which uh, to be honest in today's day and age uh, it's not too bad. Although the mug is probably half the size of your standard mug uh, for your cup of tea or whatever. Right, I think you're getting the gist of this one. Let's, uh, let's see if I can find anything, uh, anything new. And if I do, I'll let you see. Funny look, funny look alert, did you see it? Oh yeah, look at all this foodie goodness. Ooh. Got uh, garlic mushrooms, chicken over here at the back. You can see all that potato at the back. Oh, I love potato as well. Bread and cakey goodness. Yeah, 
wow. So you'll have seen some footage there of uh, heavy crowds. Return to uh, Albert Square. Uh, it's two o'clock now and it is shocker. Literally, if you do have children uh, in a pushchair, I would avoid this place. It is shocker. You literally can't move. I feel sorry for some uh, some people with push chairs. Uh, you, well, you saw the crowds yourself. It's really, really busy. Obviously, it's a good event, so it's going to be busy. But um, yeah, uh, if you've got a push chair, maybe avoid it after uh, one o'clock, two o'clock. Um, yeah, so it's it's chocker in there. Do a little spin now. If you remember, I was here earlier. It was a lot quieter, and now. Uh, not a spare seat in the house. Everywhere's busy. I found him. I thought he was missing, but I found him. The Santa from the top of the town hall has been moved to Piccadilly Gardens. I knew the town hall was getting a refurb, so they've obviously not popped him on top of there, and he's here. Are you ready? Looks like he's been uh, joined with a few other lights. Here we go. Yes. There he is. He does still exist. Uh, and it looks like, uh, yeah, there's a, little, a few lights around here, light up here. Nothing major. We'll have a look. We'll come back uh, in a couple of hours when it's uh, getting a bit dark. Funny look. Ding ding. Let's see what's here. Don't know what this is. What is this? Answers on a postcard. Sorry about the flicker, LED lights for you. Um, and yeah, around there there's some little baubles, but we'll come back. Uh, this will be all lit up at night as well, these fountains. And this is Piccadilly Garden, so this is about a eight minute walk. About eight minute walk from Al Albert Square. It's pretty cool. This kid is gonna get soaked. Go on, go on, go on, run in, go on, run in. His parents are kicking off. Go on, run in the water, son. Ah, dare ya, dare ya. Nah, he's not doing it. Being responsible. Uh, yeah, so there's Santa. Still here. Why? Why did you have to have halloumi fries? Oh, it smells very lambish and Greekish. Don't see the halloumi fries though. <coughs> Let's see how much they are. Might treat myself. Let's have a look. Oh, it's looking good, this, isn't it? Hey. There you go. Nice. Halloumi fries, the say to die for. Well, you probably need some insurance for seven pound fifty. Seven pound fifty halloumi fries. What? Does come with some other stuff. I'm, I'm uh, just say. Uh, let me see what it says. Uh, mint yogurt, and pomegranates, uh, and a bed of salad for seven pound fifty. If you're eating halloumi, you don't really need the salad here because. Uh, Pretty sure you're unhealthy at that point, but uh, it does smell lovely anyway. Just get the bank loan out. Yes, and look at these bunsels, a bun and a pretzel. I'm guessing some sort of pretzel bed bun. Here's some pictures. A bun and pretzel stuffed with delicious things. So you've got. These are five pound, by the way. Much better value. Oh wait, wait. Bacon cheddar chive, crispy duck, turkey, goat's cheese, cheese and onion, beef, shin and ale and cheddar. Oh yeah. See this is different, not had this so far. So, th so there is some unique things in all the different markets, but then there is also a lot of rep repetition as well. What's this? Campfire kebabs, three pound, not bad. Seems to be, uh, seems to be quite good value that. Nice. You're not going to believe this. Piccadilly Gardens. Guess what's here? More food. Lots more food. 
Let's go take a look. You got it. Oh, these are all seem to be all independents as well. So you got uh, here. Let's have a look. Chicken kebab wrap, lamb kebab wrap, veg wrap, jumbo box. Let's have a look at all this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this woman wants to pause. There she goes. <laughs> uh, we'll go down one end. Donuts, freshly made donuts. Oh wow, yeah. Uh, uh, to be fair, uh, they have been a few places, but let's have a look. Next up, you've got Chinese. Look at this. If you're hungry or confused, sounds familiar. Six pounds. You can mix and match. Smells lovely. Look at all this. We're gonna go. Yes. Next, hungry mama lady. Who's next? Ah yes. Right, cross over here. Change my mind. It's easier to do it this way. Look at all the desserts here. Yes. Yes. Definitely coming back here. I've uh, got Turkish wraps here. About four pound fifty. So the price around here seems a bit cheaper. Look at this bad boy. Beautiful. Right, what's this here? Burrito Express. Let's have a look at Burrito Express. This guy with the sombrero. Two people with the sombreros. Yes. Go on. Jerk chicken. Vegan. If you looked away earlier, this is your chance to look. I'll give you a good look. Look at all this. I don't know some of this stuff, but Tim Timo, spicy Tim Timo, spinach stew, and the chaka mix. And there we go. Got uh, more Chinese food there. Tibetan kitchen. Let's have a look at this one. Du -du -du -du. Don't know what this is. Looks interesting. Mm. Uh, Spanish paella. Let's get over here. Yes, get in there. Okay. Burgers, standard burgers. Falafel King, over here. There you go. And then here we've got Istanbul Grill, kebabs. Oh, oh, look salad, at this. garlic, mayo, chili. Yeah. How was that? Yeah, salad. Yeah. Salad? Yeah. Salad, yeah. Yes. Yes, we saw. Wow. So there you have it. A lot more food in Piccadilly Gardens. Uh, I'd probably say if, if you have time to come to Piccadilly Gardens, uh, if you're looking for. Uh, a bit better value for money for your foods, except for that one place which are for the uh, oh god, what was it? Um, the, the halloumi fries, that was the one. God, mind blank. Apart from that one place, it seems a lot cheaper around here, um, and there is a lot more independent, so a little bit different variety to what we've seen in most of the market. Um, starting to get a little bit darker. Santa's starting to light up. Let's turn it around um, but we'll come back when it's dark and just have a look at it properly lit up um, and I think I think we're uh, we're nearly done excuse me we're nearly done after that um, so yeah we'll have a look and I'll uh, be back soon all right right so here we are um, back at Piccadilly Gardens for the evening it's quarter past four so it's it's a uh, I don't know, 60% dark, uh, maybe another half an hour it'll be pitch dark, but um, yeah, it looks nice, we'll have a little walk around, got a light over here, just here, and then 
Let's have a look around the baubles. These are nice. And the barbell just in front. <laughs> Over there as well, you've got a snow globe bar. Um, it looks like a snow globe, but there's nothing actually inside it that makes it feel like a snow globe. So it's just basically a bar in a tent. Um, we've got the uh, the fountains here, which are lovely. All lit up. Parents try to stop the kids getting soaking wet. And then, of course, Santa from uh, where it used to be on top of the uh, the town hall so yeah it's nice nice to pop along here as it starts to get a bit dark I think uh, lighting always makes things feel a bit more Christmassy Uh, I think that really come brings the blog to an end. Um, predominantly, the, uh, the the blog has been about um, food. There has been a lot of food stalls, but um, you know what? That's what uh, makes Christmas markets food blogs. Um, food blogs. God, long day. Um, food stalls, nice food. The um, it, I've never seen a market so big in all honesty. I mean, the Edinburgh market. It's nice, it's in a lovely picturesque city, but um, it's nothing compared to, to this Christmas market in regards to size. Uh, this one, when you look at all the stalls, it's probably three or four times bigger, um, all the way around Manchester. Um, highlight of the day, um, the food, obviously I love my food. The amount of smells and uh, looking at the the freshly made food it looks absolutely amazing obviously the craft stalls some of you will be looking at it thinking um yep i like those it's not for me i'm not really a crafty person but uh, you know i can see uh, how a lot of people would really like that um and then there was the entertainment along the way um there were there was those um the the gentlemen from halifax those uh, folk singers they were really good um and then there's a few street performers that we've looked at as well along the way there's plenty going on here. I mean, um, it's, it's a Saturday today, it's really busy. Um, but but I, as much as complain about the crowds, the crowds also make it as well. I mean, if it was really quiet, it wouldn't be as good of an atmosphere. So um, you've got to weigh those things up, really, and uh, you make the decision on, on what you prefer. I think I think I, I do actually prefer it the weekend. Yes, it's busy, but uh, much better atmosphere. So, yep, yeah, we're... Um, we're going to be off to Nottingham next week, Nottingham and Hyde Park, London Winter Wonderland. So there'll be vlogs coming from there next week. Um, but that's it from here in Manchester. Um, please subscribe to the page. Uh, also comment with any recommendations. It is only like our 10th video. Um, I am trying to make it a little bit uh, less serious, more light-hearted. Hopefully I've achieved that today. Um, but yeah, comment below what you think of the vlog. If there's anything we can do better, or I can do better. Um, and if you can subscribe somewhere, we'll put subscribe down here today. And then if you can uh, have a look at this video right here, this is a good video for you apparently. Um, yeah, you can uh, you can have a look at that. So I'll um, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.